Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, the FAA issues UAS registration regulations, U.S. Army Golden Knights set a record, the U.S. Navy Blue Angels consider upgrading aircraft. Embry Cross is December 15, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. The FAA announced yesterday its aircraft registration process for owners of small unmanned aircraft weighing more than one half pound and less than 55 pounds, including payloads such as cameras. The registration process is divided between UAS aircraft being operated strictly as a hobby and those being operated for other purposes, and it requires the registrant be no less than 13 years old. Hobbyists will be able to receive one registration that can be applied to numerous UAS aircraft, while other than hobbyists must register each aircraft. A registration fee of $5 will be charged, and registrations must be renewed every three years. The registrations will take place on an FAA website. In order to encourage rapid registration, the FAA is waiving the registration fee from December 21st to January 20th. The effective date of the registration requirement is December 21st. However, those who have been operating a UAS aircraft prior to this date do not have to meet the registration requirement until February 19th, 2016. A UAS purchased after December 21st must be registered prior to flying. There are many nuances to the regulation and it's important that UAS operators make themselves aware of the details. Anyone who has ever seen the U.S. Army Golden Knights parachute team in action can testify to their daring and skill. And while they are most often seen at air shows, they also compete in skydive competition events. Just last week, the Army Golden Knights parachute team beat its own world record in an eight-way jump during the World Air Games in Dubai. Their previous record had been set at the U.S. Nationals in October of this year. Teams are scored on how many formations are completed and coordinated movements, grips, and keys. Skydivers must complete a formation, break it, and then make a new formation and regrip. The team's previous record for an eight-way was 32 points. They scored a 33 at Dubai, and Skydive Magazine reports that it was close to a 34. According to the report, the Golden Knights built a total of 33 formations in 50 seconds of freefall. Russia was the second nearest team at 26 points. After the break, the Blue Angels check into upgrading their aircraft. Now certified, Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. The U.S. Navy has asked Boeing to develop plans for converting its newest F-A-18E Super Hornets into a configuration that will be appropriate for the Navy's Blue Angels. According to a report on Foxtrot Alpha, the current airplanes flown by the demonstration team are among the oldest in the fleet and are in need of constant maintenance and repair. In one instance, a portion of a control surface actually broke off an airplane during flight. There is a precedent for demonstration teams using more modern equipment. The Air Force Thunderbirds fly late model F-16 airplanes. If there is a need, the Thunderbirds F-16s can be ready for action. With newer Super Hornets, the Blue Angels airplanes would be able to do the same thing. However, the Navy has only asked Boeing for an engineering plan, which is far from actually getting the Blue Angels into newer airplanes. 
Every Tuesday, we look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. However, during the winter, aviation events slow down, and in the holiday season, people get involved in other things. Here are some events we found that may give you an idea of something to search for in your area. On December 20th in Fremont, Ohio, the Fremont Airport is holding a family Christmas open house. It's a pilot potluck that runs from noon to 3 p.m. Fremont Airport is privately owned and provides flight training to new students and pilots looking to add ratings. This Christmas event is a great way to introduce people to their business. The holiday season leads to an event in the Northwest known as the Seattle Christmas Ships. The beautifully decorated ships can make for a special holiday adventure when you get a bird's eye view of them while flying in a de Havilland Beaver. The flights operate out of County Payne Field and can be arranged through visitor services. If you live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, Greatest Generation Aircraft invites you to join them as they bring Christmas magic to you through flights. You fly in their World War II C-47 over beautiful downtown Fort Worth and the nationally known Arlington's Inner Lock-In to look at millions of Christmas lights. It's a holiday experience of a lifetime that the whole family can enjoy. Now we head to Tulsa, Oklahoma, where Crumpton Aviation is teaming with Tulsa Helicopter to provide you with what they say is the best light tour experience in Tulsa. Tours with Tulsa Helicopter usually take off from Jones Riverside Airport, then fly east along the Creek Turnpike before circling two million lights decorating Rima Bible Church. If you would like to share an Aero event with our viewers, email earl at aero-news.net. After these messages, AMA says UAS registration rules are burdensome. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The Academy of Model Aeronautics says it is disappointed in the FAA's rule for UAV registration. AMA says the rule is counter to Congress's intent in the special rule for model aircraft and makes the registration process an unnecessary burden for their more than 185,000 members. Among the latest UAVs to be introduced to the market is the Shenzhen Fly Pro Aerospace Tech X Eagle. The company claims it is the world's first UAV equipped with auto follow and obstacle avoidance functions. It follows a smartwatch worn by the operator. A flight testbed aircraft has successfully completed its 100th flight. The highly modified Gulfstream II is testing the new Safran Snecma Silvercrest engine mounted on one side of the aircraft while retaining its original engine on the other side. Miracle Flights, the nation's leading medical flight organization, rounded off a successful Giving Tuesday campaign by raising close to $8,000. The campaign matched every dollar donated up to $5,000 for sick children in need of specialized medical care. United Airlines is discontinuing its duels to Dubai route on January 23rd of 2016. They said that a GSA government contract with JetBlue, who does not operate internationally, has led to subsidized foreign carriers operating the JetBlue bookings. Well, that's our trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. 
Sometimes good intentions just don't get the job done, and such was the case when fire crews responding to reports of an engine fire on a taxiing Boeing 737-800 at Fuzhou City Airport in China quickly and efficiently doused the wrong airplane with fire retardant foam. It's reported that the airplane that needed to be foamed was a Boeing-bound Air China 737-800. The crew of the Air China airplane had shut down the troubled engine after noticing it was emitting sparks. When the fire crews arrived about four minutes after the first report, they noticed exhaust emissions coming from an engine on a nearby 737-800, so that was the airplane that got doused. The report said that it took about 10 hours to get the airplane cleaned up and on its way. No injuries were reported except to the pride of the fire crew. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.